and keep saying that these books were coming out and people in Chicago bought all of my copies of the other one and they're <laughs> waiting for them to arrive in the mail. But I still have a new one. Um, this is not a word, feral memes, but if you can be attracted to someone's feral memes, maybe you can be attracted to my memes or my words, <laughs> that kind of thing. And that was a made up word and I thought that's a great title. So, And I thought for some reason my kindergarten school for a class picture would be a good thing to put on the cover. <laughs> you don't have to have my, you know, adult face on there all the time. Yeah, it's a wonderful word. Pharaoh means. It's and so guess what? You search for it online, this is the only thing you're going to find because it's not a word. <laughs> there were three books in the series, and did two in 2019, Pharaoh memes and show poems, things that I've written here uh, since moving to Texas. So it, it's, I It's well, going to be a word for you. I did, a girl can only hope. <laughs> uh, this first poem, um, and by the way, the cool thing about this book, although I'm not sh I'm reading short ones, is that if I have, when it's called haiku, Instagram, Twitter, poetry, if there are short poems, there are images to correlate with the poems throughout this book. And they're also like in 14 points with a larger typeface, so it's easier to see as well. So it's got lots of pictures as well for people who don't want to read. I, guess. I don't know. This first one, these three don't have any photos of them, but this is called Over a Year Away. People laugh at how tense I get, how I want everything done yesterday, how I'm such a type A person. And when it comes to romance, if you, if you know it's right, you know it's right. So after dating for three months, I got engaged. I know, I know it seems rushed, but the wedding day we chose was over a year away. Seriously, without technically asking me, I wore his engagement ring, his great-grandmother's wedding ring, and we even reserved a hall 13 months in advance. Plenty of time to back up if I got cold feet. So just over a year before the wedding, my May 7th was approaching, and I said, hey, our pre-anniversary is coming up, Friday. Maybe we should go out. So living in Chicago, we found Tommy Gunn's Garage, which is a restaurant with a gangster and flapper show in Prohibition-themed speakeasy settings called Perfect for Chicago. And we thought, and so he said he would reserve a table, and then that Friday came, and as he was leaving for work, he asked if he could borrow the engagement ring. Sure, I said, and then I handed it over, and I told him I'll see him tonight, and when he left, I think I did a little dance, saying so he's gonna ask me to marry him, he's gonna ask me to marry him. <laughs> he's gonna get down on one knee at a speakeasy and ask for my hand in marriage. And so I looked at the clock, and our dinner was 12 hours away. 12 hours. That's a half a day, I thought, and I know I've gotta get ready, but there's a lot of waiting. 12 hours suddenly seemed like an eternity, years away, far too long to wait. <sighs> okay, it's not too early to get, it's too early to get dressed. For, find the dress, jewelry, purse, shoes, and hose. Organize them so that they're all ready. Then go to the bathroom, counter, counter and after your shower, You'll blow dry and use a curling iron, and you'll be at the counter waiting for it to all heat up. Rearrange all the piles of eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara for the eyelashes, rouge, concealer stick, lipstick. I look at all of this stuff that I'm supposed to put on my face, and I think, this is a ton. <laughs> but I'm still forgetting something, I'm sure. Oh, wait, deodorant, perfume. I think I'm going to be sick here just trying to think of all the things that I've got to now schedule for what is supposed to be coming up to really too soon. Or, well, it's just in a few hours. Not yet. <sighs> So just try to be calm. Maybe listen to some calming music. Try to get your mind on to something else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like get my mind on something else. Like that's gonna happen. Well, maybe I'll have some computer work that I need to do so I can get my mind off of things. Just don't get tense. Don't get nervous. <laughs> you know the big moment's coming. You know what your answer's gonna be. I don't know. Just wait. Just wait. <laughs> 
And sure, okay, I was ready. I was probably ready way early. But during the wait, I didn't have a nervous breakdown. Why would I have a nervous breakdown? He was getting down on one knee tonight and asking for me to marry him. That's the one thing I've been waiting for. And no, he didn't tell me that he, no, no, he didn't tell me that he told them that he was asking me to marry him there. So they gave us the front and center table. The, and they even announced our engagement over to this complete group of people over this couple there who had been married for 25 years for their wedding anniversary. Because, well, we were going to get married. That night we had the whole world in front of us. Trust me. We've waited long enough. <laughs>
but I've found what I've been looking for. <laughs> and with these observations, I, the, what, and I'll tighten my grip on your hand when we travel onto the night together. Mm -hmm.